In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you're able to connect your Xbox controller to your laptop or your PC, so that way you're able to play your games either wirelessly or through a wired connection. And so jumping straight into the video, the first thing you want to do is turn on your Xbox controller. Now, if it's not connected to anything, then it's going to flash just like this. And so on the back of the controller, hold down the pair button until you see it flashing rapidly. And so now go over to your Windows laptop or your PC and navigate to your Bluetooth settings and search for your Xbox controller. Once you find it, go ahead and pair it. And so once it's connected, I recommend going into Steam and go into your settings, which is located on the top left hand corner and navigate to controller. And so inside of the tab, you will be able to see the name of the controller that you have connected. And inside of this tab as well, there will also be an option that says test device inputs. And you just want to begin the test and press buttons randomly on your controller to ensure that all of your inputs are working properly. You should be able to see it highlight on your screen as you're pressing the buttons. And so once you're done, you should now be able to play your games just as you see it on my screen right here. Now, if you want to be able to play using a wired connection, then the only thing you have to do is find a compatible USB to USB-C connection cord and plug it into an available USB slot in your laptop or your PC, and then plug in the available USB-C end into your controller. And you will know that it's compatible once you plug it in and your controller vibrates and turns on automatically. If it doesn't turn on automatically, then the USB-C cable is not compatible with your controller and you would need to find another one. And so once it's connected, you will automatically be able to play your games as you see on my screen right here. And so if you run into any issues where your controller is just not connecting to your laptop or your PC, then I highly recommend just unplugging your Xbox just to ensure that your controller is not trying to connect to it, as well as making sure that your Bluetooth is turned on and if needed, check and see if your PC needs any updates and update it if there is one. And so with that being said, that's gonna be all for today's video. Now, if you found this helpful or if you learned something, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And in case you wanna learn more about live streaming with your Xbox, then make sure you click on this playlist right here and I'll catch each and every single one of you down in the comments below as well as in the next video.